<laughs> yes. Did again yesterday. Look at that ask, I Jennifer. I know. Uh, you know what? No severe threat. No severe threat issued by the Storm Prediction Center. But with that said, uh, you can't rule out a strong thunderstorm and that is possible. We saw one yesterday and we could see one again today, but it will become stormy before then though. These temperatures are going to heat up well above the average of 86 degrees. I mean, we're talking about temperatures uh, that typically we will get later in July into August. So low 90s for today. Uh, the record highs, by the way, for West Palm Beach today is 94 for Fort Pierce is 98. So I don't think we'll set any records or tie records, but Vero Beach, you did tie record yesterday because you hit a high of 95 yesterday. That's pretty hot. Now this afternoon, thunderstorms will develop around 2 o'clock, but they'll be isolated more like showers by then, mainly inland, and then they become scattered moving towards the east coast through the early evening hours. So between 5 and 6 p.m. This is actually around 6 o'clock, potentially some pockets of heavy downpours between Fort Pierce and Stewart, as well as over in Palm Beach County as well. And again, everything's going to be moving offshore. Eventually, most of the rain will come to an end by 9 p.m. tonight. Now the rain chance for today is at 50%, but tomorrow, Saturday, we bring down that rain chance to about 30%. Sunday, we bump it up a little bit more, and it's also the rock and roll and chili cook off in Green Acres. Uh, just watch out for some thunderstorms. Stay hydrated. Even though we're not going to hit the 90s, temperatures will still be close, but mainly in the upper 80s. I so happen to think chili is like food and, <laughs> and coffee. You can do it no matter how hot oh, it is. Oh, yeah. Outside, no matter know? how hot it is. Yes, stuff. that's right. Good <laughs> substance, you know, to get going. Yes.